Hey there again, it's Marquez, and in this video, I'll show you step by step how you can easily use Monday.com for operations. The first thing you want to do is just simply click Add here on the workspace, then click Choose from Templates. And when you're going to be right here, you're going to find Operations right directly under Manufacturing. So click Operations here, and what you can do here, and which one you can actually choose. So you have option to choose legal requests privacy program management, event management, post even opportunities, single project, IT service desk, facilities requests, financial requests, IT management. So I don't really know which one you want to use. Let's say I will go from single project to, uh, we can go to IT management to also privacy program management or even IT service desk. So let me down below in the comments which one of these you would like to learn and I can create a tutorial on that and how you can really use it and how you can use the full power of the template. But other than that, I'm going to start with a single project. I'm going to show you what you can do there, what you can find there, how you can use it. So let's click here, single project, use template. And then I'm going to show you also like another two uh, what you can find there and that will be it for this video. So when I'm going to click here on a single project, what you can actually find here. Here you're going to have option to planning, execution, launch, and that's it. So in the planning, let's say I'm going to have a task which is going to be prepare, a, let's say a text, right? You can always like add a sub item here. First thing you can change the owner. You can have status here, stack future steps on hold, working on it. Then you can have the timeline here of when it's actually happening. So like this, let's say I'm going to choose working on it. Of course, you can always guys change the labels. So you can click edit label and click done, stack future steps, default labels. Then you're going to have like dependent on if it's actually dependent on something. So that's another thing. Then further all, when you're going to have, you can have the planned effort. You can add a number, effort spent. So then you're going to see the completion date. So if I'm going for this and I would add, it's going to be for today. This, uh, when this would finish, nine days left, it will be done on time. Because this is a formula, which is automatically created here. So this is what you would find in all other single project columns, the same thing as execution and as a launch. So that's pretty much it. Now, when you go further, uh, you can also always see the status here. What you can do is to click on the task assigned to me. So let's say I'm going to assign or two tasks like here to myself. When I would click task, task assigned to me, this is a filter. Um, that you can like categorize a bit and you would find that these tasks are on me. So if I'm going to add like this, this task here to me and this task to me, and I'm going to task assigned, I can find it right here. Then you can also find the project dashboard here uh, when you would find a deeper, like how it actually is and what is working here. And another thing what I want to show you and what you can add is when you would click on add a view and you would click on Kanban. Uh, here you're gonna find that you can like easily find all the tasks. So let's say I'm going to disable subtasks and you can simply add a card, col card columns. Uh, you can categorize it and go to Kanban and fill it out, right? Or like, let's say if you're gonna have a notifications or my work, And here uh, you would find everything what you're like assigned to or what you're actually using. So like the goal is that you wouldn't click actually to the project that if you're someone who is working on it, see YouTube video later, YouTube number three, project planning people, myself. So that's something you want to do. And that's what would be my recommendation is like, you don't want to use it or you want to plan it out in your project. And then what you want to do is like use only like my work. And that's what I would recommend and go with the notifications. My work would need to be done and just do that. Automatically it will work by, by like, um, by itself. Right. 
Then also on the top right you would find workflows and when you would click on active workflows uh, one day before timeline end date arrives and all status is not done, notify the owner. When status changes to done, set completion date to current date. Ensure that the timeline of an item always starts after date of its dependent on item. So you get also the workflows here which are active. And this is pretty much it how you can use the active, pro how you can use the single project. When you would go again to here and you would click on operations. Here you can simply again choose, let's say, facility requests. And I can use the template. Again, working on it, open request, done. And then you can have like description here. Then you see the created add, the priority that you can change. You can add the labels, due date, state of it, <coughs> if it's a new, working on it. Then you see the type here, if it's a request, a move, request an event, general question. When we go even further, how long it's open, request your name, request your email, request phone department. So you're always gonna find all the facility requests. You can have the all requests here, open requests, closed requests, which are done, done, done. Then you can have the form for people to fill out. So this is something when someone is going to fill this form and you're going to share it with someone, um, what will happen is that they will fill it out and then you will have another line in your monday.com, team workload and status breakdown. Team workload would be like, let's say, uh, how many people like got how many tasks on them. Status breakdown, done, new, waiting for approval. Again, uh, this is something that you would find interesting too. Like the basic analytics of how it works. So basic chart. Now this is how we can use the facility requests. You can edit that. So in the moment when you would like add a new column, you can easily add a label, you can easily add a text, add a formula. That's completely up to you. So that's something you can actually do. Now, when I mentioned, I can click add here again and add an operations. And you can have privacy program uh, management. So let's use that. Here you will like data mapping, documentation, and this is also pretty complex. Subprocessor systems. And again, you will have the status, the privacy with the personal data. And if you want guys, I can create a different video where I would like explain all the things here about privacy program management. Now, thank you for watching this like introduction templates and how you can use them, what you can find there. I create a lot of tutorials on how you can use the monday.com. So thank you very much guys for watching. I hope you are going to have a great day and yeah, see ya.